All right. Absolutely. Do it. Do it. All right. I'm just going to grab a book for me to put my mouse on. Fair enough. Okay. Um, are you sending the file through Zoom? Uh, yeah. It's on the on the chat. Ah, right. Sorry, I'm just getting into it. All right. Okay, I'm downloading it now. Okay. Um, okay. So, have you got Blender? Yes. You have. Perfect. Right. Go ahead and open. Wait. Can you screen share with me and I screen share with you? Is that? Can that be done, or do you just have to see mine? I think it's one at a time. So. Oh, you can control my screen, so you can show something. But I probably need okay, to do it okay. by. I need to do it by myself. So. Okay. Um. Yeah. I won't control your screen. So this is your. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. My very messy screen. So, so do you want to do it where I see your screen and I direct you, or do you want to do it where you can see my screen and just copy? Uh, I'll copy you. I think that's the best way to do it. Okay, cool. Right, um, so how do I screen share? Here's the green button in the middle. There we go. Is that, is that got it? Can you see the blender? Yep. Okay, cool. And is it moving around? Yes. Awesome. So when you start Blender, this is what it looks like. Have you yep. started ever started out before? Yep, I'm just opening it now. Okay, cool. There we go. Right, so first things first, it enters when you open the scene in Blender, you start out with the camera, just a simple object, and a light. Um, and we can just go ahead and delete all of them because we don't need them. So if you press A, you select all, and then X is the delete button. And it comes up with like, are you sure you want to delete? Then you click yes. What was the button, sir? X for delete. You can also press delete if you prefer, but X is like deleting. Okay. Right, cool. So then we go up to, like, now we'll import the model. So yep. file, import, what 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 file type was it? It's an OBJ. OBJ. Okay, so that's the one called Wavefront OBJ. And I'll go find where I put it. Yeah, you've got it in wherever you downloaded. I know where mine is, so. Yep, I need to myself over to downloads. Okay, that one. Very nice. All right, H have you <laughs> figured how you maneuver around the screen, or do you want me to go through that? Uh, I just there we go. I just had to remember. <laughs> so you know, it's different on every single one, isn't it? It is. Have you have you got it now? Uh, it? just. So it's, it's middle mouse click for rotating around, and then it's holding shift with middle oh, mouse yeah. for panning, zoom is scroll in and out, or it's control with middle mouse for like a smooth zoom. And then okay. also the other important ones is if you press 1, it goes to the very front view. If you press 3, it goes to profile view, 7 is top, and that's pretty much all you really want to know. And then the full stop on the number pad is really useful because if I go away from the model and I press the full stop on the number pad, it just frames it. It just gets it back. Okay. And then you're and then you're centered around that. And that's really useful. Okay. So first things first, we need the rigify add on. Um we need yep. to check that you have it enabled. Yes. So you I need to edit and preferences. Uh, uh, edit preferences. And then go on to the add ons here. I'm trying to find where the edit preferences is. It's at the. There's no the edit. There's no edit for you. No. Can you, sh uh, you sc share, share your screen with me for two seconds? Cannot share while the other person is sharing. Okay, do it now. <laughs> oh, Emma, you have got the old version of Blender. Right. Um, I would recommend getting the new one. Okay, good to know. <laughs> it shouldn't take you too long. You just go 
online to Blender dot whatever it is. Yeah, I, I would use the new one because otherwise these are going to be pretty different. In fact, that's like a super old. Well, that's not that old. That's like 7.8, I think. We're on 8.1, I think. 2.82? Oh, 2.82, yeah. <laughs> Yikes. Windows. Give me 50 minutes and it's like, nah, nah, maybe three. <laughs> oh shit, though, it's still. God damn! How long would it take if I just send you the install file? <laughs> right, eh, cool. It's working on it. That's alright, that's not bad. Um, right, yeah, while that's doing that, I'll just talk through what it is. So with the add-on, you get to import these sort of pre-made armatures, right? Like the armatures... Yes, I played, with, I played with it a little bit like, last like, week. Like, I, 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 you know, I put Rigify on so that it worked, but now I have to... Redo it because of the. Oh, you did. That's oh, sweet. Okay. It in the right direction. So basically, yeah. What we what we'll do is that if if we need to do any weight painting, then he he is up here. Yeah. All right. Um. If we need to, so yeah. Once we have, so we assign the armature to the object to the cat with automatic weights, but if we need to do any weight painting ourselves, then I can also show you kind of how to go about that a little bit. Also, okay. do you want to make like, we'll have to check what the armature looks like for the quadrupedal one, because it might include like ears, it might not, if you want the ears to be able to move. We might, we might I believe it does. Our own custom bones and that, it comes with bone, it, it comes with ear bones. I think so, when, when I looked at it before, I had a screenshot somewhere. Okay, cool. That's sick. Uh, then yeah, we can just use them. Uh, you can see my screen, can't you? So I can show you. There. Oh, nice. Uh, did oh, it yeah. have well, Do you want the jaw to be able to like open and close and things? Uh, I think so, because it's um, it he, uh, Aiden wanted me to make the model with his mouth open, so I assume. <laughs> okay, because okay, so with facial, with facial movements using bones, that's kind of like a step up. The way we could do it instead is using the shape keys. Okay. Like, which is like the blend keys, uh, blend shapes. Yeah, they're called shape keys in Blender. So that would be like you know you just edit the position of the vertices, and then slide between that and the neutral. And I can show you how to do that in Blender as well. Or you could do that in the software you want to do it in. Okay. So, yeah. Because I don't know how they import and... Because you're going to be taking this out of Blender back into... What? Emma? Sorry? What was that? Once once we've done the rigging in Blender, where are you taking this? What what software are you taking it to? It's, uh, it's been shown in Marmoset. It's been shown in Marmoset. All right, we should probably look up some stuff about how Blender works with Marmoset. Yeah. Before we start. I just want to make sure that the rigging stuff is all good. Will you be doing... Will you want to be baking the animation in Blender and then just taking out the FBX file? I think that's how we... Yeah, I think that's how we... Or, okay. So you don't need to bring the the actual rig in from Blender to Marmoset? I don't think so. Okay, cool. I don't think you would need to either. But then it's... Okay. So that means you're going to be doing all the animating in Blender? Uh, I, I assume so, yes. Cool, okay, yeah. I think uh, once you learn like what the, what the rig... I think it's pretty straight... Yeah, it's like a straightforward rig once, you, once you've got it. Um... Alright, let's see your screen. You've got... yeah! We are up to date now? Mm 
Mm -hmm. This is what it should look like. It looks so good with 2.8. Awesome. <laughs> it does look a lot better. It's so nice. <laughs> right. Yeah. So now you want to go to edit because it, it now is there. Now I have edit. Yeah. I'll start sharing my screen if you want. Unless you want to just keep doing it a bit more like this. Or oh yeah, you can tell me what to click. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that I works. Wait, so. no. Okay, yeah, because now I open mine on this one. So yeah, go over to edit preferences. Better than me trying to look at the tiny screen. Uh. And then on add-ons, on the yeah. All right, and then search rigify. Yeah, rigging rigify the bottom one. Yep. So you want to tick it. And then everything else is fine. Go down to the three bars at the bottom of this box. The settings thing. Oh. At the yeah. bottom. No, down. In the very bottom left corner. And, oh, okay. Save preferences just in case. Awesome. You can close that now. Right, so if you press Control A, that brings up the, like, you know, add a new thing to the scene. Sorry, no, Shift A, my bad. Yeah, there we go. So that's like add a new object to your scene. Okay. Um, and down at Armature, it should now have all the new ones. Yep. Yep. So animals, cat, perfect. Bring that in. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> before you do, actually, before you do, go off this menu. So you see in the middle of the grid, there's the cursor thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you click around the scene, just with the left click, or the right I, did you set it to be left click for select? Yeah. You've got slightly different controls that I do then. All right, if you right click somewhere in the scene, I think it should move. No, yeah, yours is different. All right, well, if I screen share with... Well, I oh, I know why, because I accidentally put the armature in and it's attached to that. So you, you'll have slightly... Well. There we go. So you'll have slightly different controls than I do because mine is the right click select because that's what I learned. So but okay. in the middle of in the, in the middle of the grid, that little like you know white and red thing, that's yeah. the cursor. That's the 3D cursor that moves around. If that ever gets out of the middle where you want it, you press Shift C and it recenters it to just the middle because that's where you want to import your object pretty much. Okay. Um, most of the time, anyway. Yeah. So go armature rig. Uh, go yeah. Go armature and bring in the cap. Bring in the cat. Bring in the cat. There he is. Right. So when you scale this up to be a similar size to your model, you can scale with S, by the way. Okay. Yes. Which, which right. thing should we match the best? Like the height or the... Length. Um, probably the legs. Are you going to move your model down a little bit so it's touching the bottom? Or are you oh yeah, he's supposed to go a little bit, isn't he? Okay, you are going to do that, okay. Oh, I know why, because he has uh, pull pads and stuff underneath him. Oh, so you have to keep him there? Yeah. Okay, cool. Then, yeah, then we can just move the rig up. So, I'll, shall I tell you some hotkeys just so that you, you can use them also for when you're animating? Sure. So S is scale. So when you want to scale, yep, it's, it's just S, and then you just drag around. If you want to scale only by one axis, you just press S and then X if you want to scale by X, or S and then Y to scale by Y, Okay. or S and then Z to scale by Z. If you want to scale by two axes but not one, then say you wanted to scale n like you wanted to scale everything but not in the Z direction, then you press S and then Shift Z. And that, that, that's saying okay, we'll scale but not by Z. Okay. And, that's, and then you can do that with the other ones too. The All of those things apply for the same as movements and rotation. So G is movement, like if you want to move it, like grab, basically. If you press G, you can grab it and move it around. Okay. Um, and, then, um, and then R is to rotate. Right. Ah, okay. Something happened to your model. Look at it. It's scaled all in the X zero. Yeah, so I just realized that. I was like, hang on. Yeah, 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 that's bizarre. Bring in a new one. Delete this one. Uh, I'm going to 
quickly just catch up on my screen to where you're at. There we go. Good, um, four legs, that's what we want. <laughs> okay, so now, uh, yeah, grab it and move it better into position with uh, G and then Y, I think. Just to move it along the Y axis. Okay, so you probably have a better idea than I do about the bone placements. Right. Because you've been doing all this cat stuff. Yeah. If you want, you could probably scale it by Y and make it so that the front is actually closer to the... So if you press uh, S and then Y, and press Y, yeah, you can probably scale it. Uh. <laughs> Just press Y once. Oh, <laughs> of course. I forgot. It's all like it's like sticky. What the sticky keys? When what you yeah. put, press it, it stays on. You don't have to hold it. Oh, I don't know if you'll want to do. No, actually, maybe don't do that because it's going to start scaling all the bones individually as well. Yeah, all the like tail and stuff. We'll just have to move them separately ourselves. Um, yeah, I've got the same thing happening in mind. So, all right. So now you want to tap into edit mode and you press the tab to tap into edit, edit mode. Perfect. So now you can select each bone separately. Right. I just realized you can't see his tail because his tail's a different sub-object. Okay, so if you want to see the bones that are currently within his body, there's a couple of different ways you can do it. First of all, you can turn on x-ray mode, and that is turned on with um, Alt-Z. For x-ray, yes, perfect. X-ray, <laughs> Alt-Z, you know. <laughs> um, the other way you can do it is you can go... I might have to start sharing my screen with you to show you some of this stuff. Okay. Um, so, yeah, if you want to... Um, right, so can you see my screen? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you see all of these ones here. These yep. are all the different things that you can edit. One of them is like the object properties. And you can go to viewport display, which is like down here, and you can just click like, yes, you want it to always be in front. So no matter what is in front of it, it always shows that it is in the front of the screen, even though it's still inside. And then you can look at it a bit better without having to have x-ray mode on the whole time. Um, yeah, that's the other way of doing it. Okay. Okay. So, right. I want to figure out what some of these bones do because there's a lot on the face. Yes, I noticed that as well. I don't think we should use. I don't think we should use the bones on the face for 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 animating the face because it's really hard. It doesn't work how you would want it to. It's not like um, a very good system to be honest, or at least I haven't learned about it enough to use it. So I think you'll probably want to do the face instead with like the shape keys. This is a nice retop, by the way. Thank um, you. Yeah, you'll probably want to do the, the face movements instead with like shape keys and just like move it around or something like that. Um, but we do want some for the ears, and the ears seem to be here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to really quickly duplicate this, and I duplicated it by pressing Shift and T. So now I have a copy of it over here. And I'm going to go to the armature and I'm going to go generate rig. So this is the thing that comes with the, all of these rigs that uh, you use with Rigify. You can yep. generate a rig and it makes it so that you have like a proper one. And it will take a little bit of time to load. Um, and then it should work <laughs> after a bit. Jeez. I'm, I'm using my laptop for this, so it's kind of cool. Okay. Let me show you what happened. It's down here, and it's tiny. Um, <laughs> I'll show you why that happened. The scale that this is set to is like 27. So if I want to reset the scale, I go Control-A. Come on. 
Yeah, I go control A and I go apply scale. And then it says them all to one, 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 and that's perfect. I also probably want to apply the location. Maybe not, no. Um, all right, I'll generate the rig again and see what happens this time. Stop producing kittens. What? Stop producing kittens, tiny ones. <laughs> Okay, so this uh -huh. time it's the right scale, but it's in the wrong location because I have to also apply the location. <laughs> and then we have it. It should work now. <laughs> <laughs> Third time's chill. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so if, if things like that go wrong, then you just want to like reset some stuff. Um, right, so this, these, are all the these are all of the controls. Oh, not wrong one. So pose mode. Right. So these are all the ones for moving around the rig, which means actually, let me just hide this. Does it work with sub-objects, or should I uh, fuse them? That's the question. So the sub-objects, what, for your for your model? Yeah, because his tail's separate still at the moment. It will work with sub-objects. Okay. And actually, sometimes it works better with sub-objects. Okay, good to know. Um, yeah, because, like... If you have a character that has, you know, their arm, but then they also they've also got clothes over the arm, then they have two layers of vertices there. And if you actually sometimes don't separate them and you just uh, attach them with automatic weights all at the same time, it it sees that there's two layers of vertices and it starts thinking, oh, the second layer shouldn't have as strong a weighting as the first layer, and then your clothes go everywhere. <laughs> and if you apply them. If you separate them as subject objects and then attach them, it's like, oh yeah, no, these are both in the, roughly, these are definitely both going to be weighted to this bone, and I know how much, and it's going to work. So yeah, yeah. sub objects are fine; they're going to work. Okay. Um, Just checking. Yeah, even for the even for the, the, the this this version of the rig. So we have eye controls, which like are meant to like move around the eyes. Oh Do you yeah. See what it's doing a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we played with rigs a little bit uh, um, last year. The... Okay, cool. I want to see how the ear ones move because I'm trying to figure out how it, what bones we want, and which ones we can sacrifice. <laughs> yeah, that's the mouth one, and that even drags down these. Shall we try using the face? And if we can't, it's we'll just have to have a bit of editing to just, you know, delete it. Yeah. Afterwards. But we can try using these all of these bones. Might be a bit hard, but we can we can try it because I think they might be they might be quite good if they work. Yeah. Okay, cool. Right. Oh well I forgot where all these bones should go. If they do work, right. they're super so, useful. Let's go back to Yeah. I, I have a feeling some of them like probably won't work, but the ones that do will work just enough that they'll be a good start for, like, some face. Yeah, he's not talking, you know. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, exactly. So, I'm gonna delete that. And I'm gonna unhide the other one and delete it too. Okay, let's get started with placing all these bones in the right places. Um, so, we want to grab the, the skeleton. And we want to uh, press tab again. Another way of doing it is pressing control tab. No, it isn't. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's sorry. <laughs> Let me do the thing. God, it always chooses now to just not. There we go. Okay. Right, it doesn't work with this. Yeah, alright. Um, so it should be. Wait, it just let me do it then. <laughs> Why is it not. Typical. I don't know if you saw what I'm trying to get it to do. Not that. But that's not letting me. There we go. Okay. Right. So, there's three object mode for selecting the entire object. There's edit mode for selecting and editing the positions of the bones themselves. And then there's pose mode. Make sure you're not in pose mode for now. Make sure you're in edit mode. Alright. I should. And then around. So, all of these tiny little bones for like claws. We won't need them, will we? Do you have claws? Uh, he, no, not claws. He has uh, those are toe bones, Speed, I believe. They won't move. Yeah. yeah, they won't move. No. All right, I reckon we should start deleting these then. 
So, so how do I? Should I? How? What? What mode should I be in? Just so I verify. Edit mode. Just edit mode. That's just the normal. So you can one. start selecting all these separate bones. Yeah. There we go. Got it working. All right, and then we can also tap into um, X-ray view just to make sure we've selected all the ones in this region. Right. Yeah, I'm gonna press X and I'm gonna uh, delete bones because we don't want them. And before I do that. <laughs> I'm going to make sure that I go up to options here and I press X axis mirror so that anything I do on one side, they will do on the other side. I should have done that already. It's been a long time since I've rigged. <laughs> and I've never rigged with an animal before, so this is weird. All right, did you get that? Are you, you have to go to options. It's hard to sort of uh, look at your screen and look at my screen at the same time, so I'm trying to figure out how right, to do I'll it. Stop sh I'll stop sharing and you share your screen with me instead. Okay. Do that for a bit. And I'll just direct you. All right. Cool. Okay. So over where it says options at the top right of this screen. Uh, can I can I use a pointer on this? Uh yeah. Uh, there's a um there's annotate in remote control and stuff, so you can like point. You can draw like an arrow. Can you see my mouse? Mouse, no, but if you if you do annotate, you can uh, like circle stuff and things. All right, it's here. Ah, there we go. <laughs> Perfect. And then how to get rid of that? There okay, you go. Cool. Oh, sick! This is cool. Okay. <laughs> um. Right. Oh, right. Okay. So, sorry. Go off that menu. Right. You've got the rig selected, but you need to be in edit mode. So, press tab. Okay, select a bone, just grab one. Okay, it's orange, so that means you're in edit mode. Now go over to options. And just tick x-axis mirror right there. Perfect. Okay, so now, yeah, let's start with the feet. So find one foot, select a bone on it, and then you can press the full stop button to, like, center onto it. Wrong full stop button. The one on the number pad. I don't have a number pad. <laughs> oh, well then you can't do that. No! Um, <laughs> you can go to view and find out if there's a different views up here. View, uh, cameras, no, local view. Toggle local view number pad, no, uh, viewport, viewpoint, sorry, this one. This one. Uh, no, mm, align view, try. Align view to active, that should be it. Uh, uh yeah. I'd have no. to remap them all. Num they're all numpad. Yeah. Alright, um, yeah, forget it. <laughs> um. Had to do it the hard way. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you don't have a number pad, that's insane. Okay. So, okay, so this big bone here, whoopsie. Sorry, I moved. <laughs> so this big bone here that you've got selected right now, keep that one. Just delete these little ones, like this, and like these. Yeah, that's, those are the toes, as it were. So if yeah, you wanted to, like, if you wanted him to, like, knead, I guess that would be those ones. Yeah, 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 yeah. so that's already, that, that would already require a lot of weight painting, because it's not going to be able to understand that. Yeah. Unless you weight paint it, so like, fuck that. Right, yeah, so grab all these little bones. I moved the cursor somehow. Okay, press uh, Shift C if you want to put it back. Ah. Uh. That was Shift X, I think. Nope. Shift C? No? To move the cursor? Nope, just made that uh. this bit. You've got the weird controls, because you've set them differently to mine, so I actually don't know some of your controls. Ah. But it's okay. Undo that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so just go just go around and select. So you, sh you select with left click, and then if you shift select, you'll select more than one. You can, like, go around and click more than one and just grab them all. Yep. Just go around doing that with all the ones we don't want. 
go into the middle button. All those and then not that one. I think you're using control. But it's okay. Yeah, delete them. <laughs> bones dissolve bones. No, delete them. Alright, and then grab that one you missed and delete that one too. Perfect. Okay. Um, let's go do the exact same thing on the other foot and then we'll start moving some stuff. Okay. Right, so you see how it's selecting like a lot of them at once? Yeah. I think you're using control, not shift, but I guess yeah. you're wrong. Okay. Well, it's fine for now because it's working. So, <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> That's why I was doing it. Because <laughs> I was yeah, like, oh, this seems to be working. You're learning! Epic. Okay, delete that. Right, so now there's two different ways to move these bones around. One is selecting the circles and moving like the joint position. And one is grabbing the actual bone and just and, and moving the position of the bone. Yeah. Okay. So if you press three, oh you can't. <laughs> Fuck. Oh shit. Um. Damn. Okay. No number pad. <laughs> this is gonna be difficult. Um. Yeah. Basically, what you want to do is you want to grab this and put it in the position of where you want the ankle to be able to like move. So probably around here. Yeah. And then this little bit at the end that goes like down here. So this is the part where like once you get into the routine of knowing what the buttons do, like yeah you're just gonna go around the whole model and just put everything in the right positions. And that would be the same for any rig. Oh of course, 3D. <laughs> you think, oh it's perfectly aligned and then you find it is not perfectly aligned. It was on one plane, but it wasn't on the other. How, how, can I, can we try the remote control thing? Just because I want to... Sure. Request from remote control. I just want to see what this does. So Aiden, I, Aiden was using it earlier. Mouse and keyboard control of the shared screen. <gasps> well, that's well cool. Okay, yeah, you've got all the different controls. So I guess this one would go... Oh, it's a bit laggy, but we can deal with it. Well, I mean, <laughs> understandably. So this one would probably go around like here, right? Yeah, that's what the Near hulk the is. the back, because you can, you can often see the bone. You want it like... I don't know, somewhere like there. Do you have to like scale it down if it, if it pops out or something? No, these bones, you can't, you won't be able to see them. They're just okay. uh, visual. You can even change uh, what they look like uh, over viewport display. Yeah, octahedral. So you can change them to like I don't know, stick, and then you just got a bunch of sticks. Oh, that's cool. They're just they're just visuals. Um, they don't need to be scaled. Yeah. The the main thing with placing all the bones is placing exactly where these these fuck me, uh, these little joints are. Yeah. Yeah, that's the main thing. Um, might want to put this one just so like a tiny bit further down maybe. I don't know where it goes. <laughs> it, it, it won't even let me use my number pad because you don't have one. Wow. <laughs> That's peak. <laughs> I don't know, that can go like near the end. Maybe this one's like there. Okay, so do you wanna? I'll give you back control, and you yep. can just start, you know, going around the model. If you got, I'll I'll watch and like, you know, ask me any questions, um, when when you need to. But a lot of this should just be, yeah, going around, getting it, getting it going. Um, there's some confusing stuff happening with those bones on the butt. It looks like, and I think those are hips. I don't know. 
<laughs> on the butt bones. The butt bones. Yeah, that's that's the base of the tail there. That's the so if you, thigh. If you go over to let me just get out the annotation thing again. If you go over to this, it will tell you the name of the bone, and sometimes that's an indication. Tails zero oh. zero one isn't a very good indication, but yeah, that's the beginning. It's of something the tail. to do with the tail. <laughs> yeah, it's something to do with the tail. That sometimes gives you an indication, and like the times when that might be useful is when you find a bone that's called like root bone. Because the root bone dictates quite a bit. Okay, one thing I'm about to mention, if you let go of that bone and put it back, right. So the way that this is set up, you see how these bones are like overlapping. Yeah. I was just right. wondering about that. There's probably a reason why they're overlapping basically. Um some sort of vague reason why they keep them why, together. Why they're, so yeah, so if you start changing them a lot, it might end up screwing up this area. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect diagram, thank you. So, <laughs> you want to try and keep the sort of, I don't know, the proportions of like how close things are to each other. Yeah. Quite quite accurate to how it was at the beginning, basically. Just so that you don't end up if you change the if you change it drastically, it's not going to understand what to do with the widgets uh with the when, when the rig comes along. So yeah. So like, do that, for example. That's probably a pretty good way of doing it, yeah. Remember that these bones, like, um, don't have to be necessarily inside the model exactly. That's the pelvis. That just means that that's a hip, so. The, that's a pelvis. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're good. So that, that's, that's basically the, um, the crotch bone right there. So one thing that, like, basically what you're doing at the moment is just doing the, like, like by eye, like, just putting them be in better positions. But what you're going to do a lot of, probably, is um, before you generate the rig, okay, using just this armature, you're going to attach it to the body with the automatic weights, and then you're just going to test it out with, a, like, you know, just moving some bones around. Um, and see what it does to the model. And see what it, see what it does, yeah, absolutely. Um, and I will walk you through some good ways to like test um, like the inverse kinematics and things like that because they they should be work they should work if they don't before you generate the rig then just do a test where you just generate the rig it might take a little bit of time but just do some movements find out what needs fine tuning uh, and then yeah do that a couple of times until everything's working enough though there'll, there'll probably always be places where you're gonna find something odd if you put it in a too extreme position, like you know, you know how rigging is. Yeah. I might, as you do this, just do it on my computer as well. And then yeah, and then you can. Once we come to testing, we'll test. Um, maybe find. Maybe it will help us find out what is what needs to be changed or anything like that. Okay. Um, I'm just working on the spine at the moment, and I'm wondering if the spine... See, I think spines with the rigs, they don't have to be like at the top of where your actual spine is. I think they just go sort of where the volume of the body is. Yeah. So, I don't know how you've done it, because I'm not looking at your screen anymore. But, um, yeah, just in case. I've just put them in. It matches pretty much with where the, uh, the vertebra go, so I think it works. So you put it at the top? Yeah. 
Okay, so that 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 should be something we test because sometimes with the yeah sometimes with the rig it, you don't actually put the spine where the spine is. You just put it in the center of the volume of your torso or chest. So um, we'll have to test that. And see see what this rig wants you to do. You getting onto the face now? Yep. Damn. Okay. <clears throat> this is where it gets tricky. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, because this is a lot of like really small bones and it just sucks. Um, but yeah, you want to put these. Is is a good place to start. Okay, stop. That's two bones there. So undo that last step you just did. So that when you selected, no, 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 not too far. So, but did you see what happened when you selected that? I'll get the pen out. Um, so did you see what happened when you moved this bone here? No. But there's still ah, a bone yes. there. And that's because um, this bone direction is kind of like going around this way and that's where it connects back up again. But don't move. Th these these two should like this. I can't see what I'm doing anymore because I've just drawn all over it. <laughs> <laughs> two seconds. All right. Yeah. These there's like two circles there. They should stay in the same position. I think. Yeah. So you grab them at the same time and move them at the same time. Perfect. Nice. Oh, I'm glad he matches up fairly well. <laughs> it does. It does. I'm just looking at it now. Um, find out where the nose is. I feel like the nose is a bit deep in, but maybe not. Actually, that looks fine. Um, teeth. Okay, so you have you got teeth and tongues and stuff? Uh, no. Okay. He's well, not gonna have his mouth uh, wide good. open. Good, because... Wait, surely if his mouth is open, you would have teeth. I said he's not going to have his mouth wide open. Oh, okay. He just has his mouth open in a skull, so that I can Just a little bit. Yeah, okay, cool. Alright. Because teeth and tongues and shit like that, that's uh, above my pay grade. I don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> it's tough. Um, so, um, but I don't know whether you should delete the bones for the teeth. Probably. Probably because um, they might change the inside of the mouth a bit. Yep, they'll try and weight themselves to the mouth. So yeah, get rid of teeth, get rid of um, anything that says tongue, I guess. Um, so... The one thing that this rig is going to try and let you do is have it that you have a controller for where the eyes are looking. And I, I, I don't think that it always works that well. Um, but we can try it. Okay. But like, so... What that's Should I put the other sub-objects sub in? Uh, sub-tools, even. Um, 
Oh, the eyes let's and let's the tail. Let's stay with just testing this for a while, because that's going to get a bit confusing. Okay. Um, the, the problem I'm trying to think about now is that you have the controllers for the eyes on this rig, and when it comes to assigning the weight, it might accidentally assign the weight for the eye direction to part of the skin around the eye. Yeah, so which would be weird. That. We, can, we can go and change that, but I'm just, make, I, I'm just thinking that if we go and change it, it might look like fairly a rough job because it's, it's such a delicate area of the, of the model to like yeah. edit the weights. But you know, we'll, we'll see what we can do. All right. Um, let's have a look at it. Um, that jaw might be better higher up. I don't know. What, the, the base of the jaw down here? No, the two ones on the side. Are they... I'm trying to figure out why there's so many bones that have a very similar position. Well, this is all cheap bone, isn't it? Yeah. No, I don't think Bowser is here anymore. Oh, he's just there. What's up? Uh, I saw some little black ones, but maybe they were blue. Uh, maybe, maybe they were blue on on the sofa. Blue one in the fixing room. But maybe George, they, maybe they were George's new move ones. Here's a lip, so these are a little bit far back, I think, because that's the cheek and the lip. I think they need to go up here, and then the jaw up here. Right. Lip, yeah, lip, B and T, so top and bottom, I'm assuming. Um... Yeah, I think this is the... These bones are positioned as if the mouth was actually more closed than it is, which is which is actually good for you because it means it's going to be able to wake it much better. Um, but yeah, I think you're really nearly there with fin finishing up the preliminary rig. The preliminary. <laughs> oh, I can write text. Yeah. This is sick. How do I delete it? Ah, that's the question. <laughs> okay, I got rid of it. Alright, um, by the way, if the face stuff, um, doesn't work, don't be too disappointed. I've never got it to work very <laughs> satisfactory. Like, I've got it to work a little bit, but it's not very satisfactory. Like, I've got noses to, like, you know, move a little bit. This um, is Temple. Oh, oh, right, like, I was, I was thinking of Temple. <laughs> yeah, temple is right temple. behind that's, that's it. That's the weakest part of your skull, isn't it? It's up here. Yeah. Where is a cat's temple? I assume it's uh just 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 behind their eyes. I suppose so. Or maybe it's just behind their eyes. Oh. Very strange. I know this is side topic stuff. Um, how have you been getting on with major project stuff? <laughs> I'm. Emma. Yeah, I'm. I'm trying. Wait, I can't. I don't think I can hear you right now. Oh. With major project proposal. Yeah, I've um. I don't think I can hear you very well anymore. Yeah, the internet connection just went down. Two seconds, two seconds, two seconds. Try talking now? Wait, no. Oh, shit. Okay. It better? A little bit, a little bit better. Can you still hear me? Yes.
Oh, cool. Okay. Um, I think that's a big lag there. Um, yeah, with major projects proposal, I'm I'm pretty far behind on it too. I wouldn't. Um, I, I I I don't think we're the only ones in this position as well. I have a, a meeting with Aiden on Thursday to help for talk about that. To find a research question. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, that's the research question, just sort of idea in general. Yeah, I had a meeting with him last week sometime. Um, you know, like probably Thursday, I think. Uh, he, he's pretty. He's pretty helpful. If you if you have a rough idea of uh, what you want to do, like a r really rough, like um, just sort of something you can get excited about, then. I don't know. When I was talking to him, he seemed to get pretty enthusiastic about it, and we had quite a fun, just like you know, just talking about. Oh my god, we could do this. We could do this. Even though <laughs> it's me doing the work, but you know, whatever. Um, <laughs> you could do this. It's even better. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Have you got any ideas for it? Uh, no. That's that's the bit I'm stuck with. <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, What's a spine doing all the way in his forehead? That's strange. <laughs> um, spine zero zero six. Right, that probably is just the head bone. Uh, it should be at the orientation of the head, so probably stick it out a bit further and let let it come to the forehead. I think. We'll have to test that one. But yeah, it, it should stick out a little bit, I guess. Like a unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There we go. Okay, it's starting to look a little bit better now with the eye in the right place and stuff. I think that one, yeah, I think this is working very well. Should we test um, test it or something? Right. Can you go out of Can you go out of X-ray for two seconds? I just want to see how many bones are sticking out. So that's Alt Z. Cool. Okay. So go back to the face. So all of those bones on the forehead. Um. Those are there to indicate to the rig, like, just where it is. Um, I wouldn't bother changing them all now because they're also connected to that arch, and they're, they're pretty close to where they should be. Let's do the test and then try it. I okay. do think, though, that the nose bone, the nose maybe could be further out. Maybe just so you can see the tip of it. Because it's a bit... And uh, just the just the one above it. Wait, let me get the. Go back to uh, X-ray. So this bone here. Yep. Oh, sorry, uh, I moved. <laughs> it's okay. This bone here might want to come to the surface, like this one. Uh, no, this one. Yeah. That's a cheekbone. Not that one. Not that one. That. One. That one. Yeah, nice. There we go. Um, a little bit more in actually, and a bit higher up. So like the arch. Yeah, like like there roughly, maybe a bit more in, like down. Like that one doesn't. Like yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't know. Um. Let's just save this as a test. Means, all right. I feel like that's the bridge. That that's the nose. Like whole uh, sort of not in the bridge with it. So yeah, that's a good position for it. Right. Time to do a test. Um. Oh, your screen isn't moving anymore. Oh, I was saving as a test. Oh, 
Thank you. Offline status for there. That better? Yep. Can you hear me? Yep. Cool. Okay. So I was just I was just talking about um, how we're gonna do the testing. Yeah. So what it's gonna it's gonna involve a lot of times where we will um, we will, we, we will, oh my god, we will assign weights to the model, so we'll, you know, we'll tell it to do the calculation, and then yeah. we'll test a pose, and then we're just going to undo, 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 until we get back to where, before we did that, and make the changes, and then do it again. Okay. So it's going to, it's going to involve a few undos each time we do it, and the only worry sometimes is that... You don't have enough undos to get all the way back, so that's why it's important to make a save every time you, like every time you improve a little thing. Incremental saves. Incremental saves, exactly. But try not to save on the times where we need to undo. Enough undo. Okay. Yeah, okay. Cool. So, first things first, go into object mode. Which was tab. Tab. Yeah. Or at the top here where it says another way to do it if you prefer like on the screen buttons instead of hotkeys where it says ah. object mode up here. Yes, okay, good. There we go, back again. Okay, cool. So now we're in object mode, we want to, I think it's select the model, and then shift select to also select the rig. Or possibly control if it's me, because my things are weird. Oh, there we go. Cool. Now I press control P, I believe. Yeah, so that brings up the parenting options, and you want to click on with automatic weights right down there. Okay. So now click on back onto the skeleton and tap into pose mode. Right, now grab any bone and press R to rotate it in any direction. Ah! Cool. <laughs> okay, cool. Right, so if you want to go Wait, yeah, make it an incremental one. In fact, actually, don't bother saving now. I wouldn't. Okay. I wouldn't, because we need to do... We, like, it's better to... What we'll probably be doing is finding out what we need to change and then opening up that previous save. Okay. Wait, did you just... I just went back to the first one. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, no, open the other one. We wanted to do a bunch of tests first. All right, cool. Can you go over to pose? I'll just get the thing out. Um, can you go over to pose options here and turn on auto IK? Okay, cool. Just want to see if this works. Right now, select like a, the foot bone and 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 grab it with G and just move it around a little bit. Can you move it up? <laughs> okay. That's what the auto IK is doing, because it thinks it's like a human bone. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> <laughs> That's so creepy. That's pretty cool. Okay, so maybe.
know the auto IK isn't gonna work on this. I just wanted to test if the auto IK recognized that it was a hu that it, w it wasn't human, but it doesn't <laughs> seem to have really. <laughs> Which is pretty. You can try it with the try it with the back foot actually. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> no. Right. <laughs> Overall, though, if we go out of X-ray mode. Uh, oh, that. I did that. Oh right, sorry. Yeah, it's now it's just making the bones X-ray mode. Yeah. Um, so you go back to object object mode, go out of thing, and then go down to the box. I'll point at it. Hold on two seconds. Not that this this box over here. And go down to viewport display. And and put it and tick in front. Sweet. I think that works. Now, yeah. Now click on the skeleton and go back into pose mode. Just so that we, I, I want to see how it is bending as we change stuff. So, I think auto IK is off. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so just start trying to pose it into maybe like a, a, a natural pose for a cat. Just to find out if it's sort of, if it's getting the weighting, you know, good enough. No, no, no. Go Stack the bones. Yeah. Go to pose mode. Nice. I can't click them. Really? Oh, sorry. Oh fuck. Of course you can't. Um, press Alt Z. Ah, there we go. Right. It wasn't letting you select them because it thought that the model was in front of it, even though we've asked for the model to not be looking like it's in front of it. Right. But it wouldn't let you select them because there was something in the way. So you turned on X-ray mode, which means you can select, you know, outside. Okay. Okay. What do you think of uh, some of those bone movements? Do you think we need changes? Wait. Oh, God. That's <laughs> uh. Yeah, don't grab it. Rotate it. <laughs> that one. <laughs> you know what? Okay, so go to... Just want to make sure this is ticked. Uh, whatever it needs to be. Okay. Go back to object mode, and you're gonna select the model instead. And you're gonna go to uh, um, the modifier thing, which is here. Yep. And go preserve volume, just here. Right. All right. Now go back onto the skeleton, um, and try bending that same bone again. I want to see if it manages to keep the volume a bit better. What? This one? That one, yeah. No, the other one. The lower one. This one? No, 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 just... yeah, that one. Is it preserving the volume any better? Might be. A little bit. I think there's a bit, bit more around the um, joint. Yeah. Otherwise, it was like twisting it. So I don't want it twisting. So how do cats move their their forward leg? Uh, it starts up here. And then that bone moves. Yeah. And then that one oh. moves like that. Wait, does the lower bone rotate clockwise or anti-clockwise? I need to go grab an actual cat. Um, <laughs> <laughs> how do you awesome. move? Uh, they don't really move their shoulders much. Thinking about it. like this, uh, this arm bone. They don't move that one. Like it doesn't move much. It's it's all in this one, not in the um, elbow. I suspect that this bone right here. Wait, I'll get that drawing thing out. I suspect that this this bone here. 
should be moved slightly more central to the arm. Just yeah. because it's rotating it from here when it rotates and it's making it do some weird stuff. Yeah. Um, it might look more natural if it was further inside. So that's one little change that we can make once we go back okay. to the previous save. Um, let's try the... Can we try... Um, let me draw. Can we try hip bones at the back? This might be easier to test once we generate the rig, actually. Yeah. <laughs> that is the root bone. You found it. Oh, that's weird. Yeah. Don't. Yeah. Th 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 those aren't. Those aren't going to work at the moment because they they need the the. Rig I mean, that's the right movement. That's looking pretty good. Wow, you retopped this really well. Yeah, thank you. I, I have to redo That's it good. because there's a little bit around the mouth I need to redo, but the body I was really happy with. Wow, it's like, really good. That looks... And, it, you know, they have that little primordial pouch here, which yeah, is also yeah, yeah, yeah. in there. You got it, you got it. Sick. Wow. <laughs> the bony that bits are a bit good. trickier. That foot looks pretty good. Oh. That looks weird. When it rotates forward, that looks weird. I guess yeah. that one doesn't rotate forward. It doesn't. Okay. Yeah, it's not meant to. Time to try some ears and face stuff. Okay, I think we need to move the spine. Because, <laughs> you think? <laughs> because that's too high. <laughs> I think the spine does need to be in the, in the center volume yeah. of the chest. So we can move that as well. So we've got some notes, which is to move one little bone in the front... Back legs look fine. We need to move the spine. Um, go to the face and let's try some stuff there. How are we going to be able to tell with the uh, with the thing in front of the model? That's the thing. Um, yeah, it's a bit hard, isn't it? Just grab the ears. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Try rotating that. They move more like that. Yeah. That's not too bad. That's pretty alright. So, ears are probably the most important bit of the facial animations, right? Yeah. The, for a cat? Ears twitch and stuff, yeah. Ears twitch, yeah, cat, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You probably want them to be pretty good. Um, the, nose the nose probably nose. doesn't really move much. It's not a rabbit, you know. Yeah, true. Um... So, okay, would you prefer to do the facial animations, any of the facial animations, like the mouth, whatever, would you prefer to do that using a shape key, instead of having all these bones just sort of there? Maybe? That you're not going to really use? Ah, uh, because we could just delete them. Just thinking. Yeah, because things like that. That's very yeah, strange. we could just... So, actually, with these bones, like, the reason why none of these are working at the moment is because we do need to generate the rig for these ones to work. Okay. So, let's go back to edit... No. Let's go back to the previous save before we assign the weights. Let's make those edits that we said we were going to make. Yeah. And then... And then we'll generate the rig, we'll test the face with the generated rig. And if it still doesn't work at all well, not to the standard we'd like, and if it still seems pretty useless, then we go back again, not to this save, but after we've made these edits save, and we get and we delete those bones. Okay. So the step for now is to change just a couple of those, the spine moves, and that front bone in the leg moves. Yeah, so this one. Yeah, that's that's all it is for now. And then we'll move on. Um, so once... Oh, fuck me. Um, oh, I just remembered we're recording this, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> Whoopsie. That's okay. That's so okay. Just getting submitted to... A examiner. Only Aiden, I think. And and the external one. And it is with sound, isn't it? God damn it. 
It's all right. <laughs> We're students. Um, yeah. <laughs> to be expected. <laughs> right, yeah, so... Okay, so once we've got the rig working satisfactorily with just the body, we can start bringing in the other subtools and test them out as well. Like yeah. the tail. Okay, I moved uh, the elbow and the spine. What was the other one? Cool. Cool. Okay, so now you want to make a save for your changes. So make a new save, I'd say. Nice. Good name. And then do the thing where you come out of come out of edit mode on the skeleton, select the object, select the skeleton, assign weights, and then go into post mode. Yeah, yeah, you want to be in object mode. You're fine, you're in object mode. Yeah, sorry, I, I, I got... <laughs> I lost track. <laughs> um, okay, so yes, wait, wait, hold on, Ollie, two seconds. So select, yes, yeah, select the body, select the skeleton, and then it's control P to set the parent type. And to order that was it. Wait, and then, and then do some tests. Uh, no, 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 control... what? Uh, I think you have to select the body and then the skeleton. You selected the the skeleton and then the body. Okay. <laughs> There's a huge difference, Emma. You wouldn't believe. <laughs> no. Control C. It's not letting you do it. What? Can you go down to um to here? Yeah, that's weird. Um, maybe select the skeleton and then the body and try that instead. I swear it's not that, I swear it's the other one. Yeah, 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 okay, select the body and then the... Did you just drop the switch? <laughs> Why are you so clumsy? What's wrong with you? Ah, there we go. Yeah, nice. And that was with automatic weights, right? Okay. And then you and then you select the skeleton. You go into pose mode and do some testing. I need to have a chat with my twin. Um, I will be two seconds, but I will still be able to hear you if you want anything. Right, okay. Go on. You're a fucking idiot. No, 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 no. My computer can probably still hear you, and this okay. is recorded for our listeners. I'm just gonna mute myself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How do I mute myself? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm back. Alright. How's it going? It seems good. I, uh, the head one's quite nice. As <laughs> <laughs> she says, doing the long uh, axis. Okay, yeah, it's nice when you rotate it like that, yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's cool. Not like, ah! Not like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, that looks like it's working nicely. Um, Ollie, if you think it's a better spot, then just put it inside of, let's see. Yeah. Where is it? Behind Renee's. Yeah. Next to yours. Next to mine? I suspect we'll be able to move bladders at some point. I, I, I don't know if that's the case. So. Are you playing Animal Crossing? Yep. <laughs> We're trying to find a place to put the museum on the island. It's, 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 it's annoying. <laughs> I thought it was that high. Aiden told me the, the elbow was too high, but I think it actually isn't. If you know a real cat. Okay. Oh well, good to know. It did seem to match on the skeleton, so I was like, well, it seems to be alright. Wait, you cannot move Blathers Tents once it's been placed, but you will be able to move the museum- Oh, I see. You'll have to build the museum after the tent. And then move the museum. Then fucking put it anywhere, bro. Put it put it beneath my house, like, you know, down, down, down by the river there. I think that was- I, I think it was a nicer spot. And it, there was a lot of trees there, you don't want to put it where all the trees are. It's a bit lower, like, there. Renee doesn't matter. <laughs> also, everything's gonna be close. It's a tiny island. No, bro. Bro, that's way too close to my house. Would you? I know I'm moving it, but, like, you... <laughs> Isn't your house literally next to my mouse? No, but it's gonna be, like, here. We did it. We built. We built a museum. Hooray! <laughs> I only know from Literally, everybody Ollie playing. Came into my room, like Chris, I need to talk to you about something. We need to decide <laughs> how to put the museum. <laughs> Got everyone in the house right now is like playing. Has their own Isolation account. life. Everybody's playing Animal Crossing, filling my uh, timeline. Yeah. Apparently, Blathers really doesn't like bugs. Doesn't like, yeah, he's never liked bugs. He hates them. Wait, have you got Animal Crossing? No. I don't have a Switch. Oh, bro. Yep. Damn. You game on PC? Yeah, mostly. Yeah, that's understandable then. I kind of feel like Nintendo is the equivalent of Apple, but for consoles, because it's got all the ex exclusives and things like that. It's kind of like... You need to have our stuff. <coughs> yeah, exactly. You need to have Nintendo stuff for Nintendo stuff. I have got a meeting with Aiden in about 50 minutes. Yeah. I think. I have to text him first. Well, we've made progress. I can... That's a good start. <laughs> awesome. That's good to hear. Um... Hold on, I'm just closing the door. Right. <clears throat> so... Um, yeah, we can keep going for, until I have to go for a meeting, pretty much. Okay. I am gonna have a cigarette. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> right, what, what, what are you working on now? Alright, I've, um, I've moved all the ones that we had, like, problem areas, so the elbow, the spine. Good stuff. Uh, Have you found out what those bones, what these bones at the bottom do, at the chest and the stomach? What these ones? Yeah. Have you found out what they do? Yeah, that's that's the that's the breast sort of area. That's the muscle here. All right. And that's Try the stomach. Try scaling it instead of rotating it. Do you think it's used for breathing? Yeah, I was just wondering that. Like, probably not that big a breathing, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> different ways of posing, like, yeah, scaling but, it. But, uh, yeah, in that case, you probably want it a little bit higher because you, they don't breathe in their stomach, they breathe in their rib cage. So you want it, you want it more to the right? Yeah, it'll be up here. Yeah. Yeah, okay. 
So, yeah, just move the bone now without having to go back. No, as in move the bone in edit mode. Okay, and then go to pose mode and just see what happened. Scale it. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, so it's still assigned in the wrong place. So what we can do, instead of having to go back a save and all that bullshit, oh, pardon my French, um, select, so yeah, go back into object mode, and select the body of the, of the cat. Okay, so you're in the modifier panel, and it says that you have a modifier, an armature modifier on it, which is saying, hey, look, you've got, uh, there's a rig attached to this thing. If you delete that with the little X. Yeah. No, no, no. The, the other X at the top. Top right. That one. Right. Remove modifier. All right. Now go down to the vertice. I will bring up a pen to show you what I mean. Yeah. You still have a circle over here. Yep. It's this one. This one. Oh, sorry. Your head's the little, top. The little green one. Okay, you want to go to this little drop-down thing. And you want to go delete all groups. We're about to make them again. Okay. Um, so we had to delete the old ones. Okay, now go back to select... So now all you need to do is do the reassign things. to so select body, then skeleton, or skeleton yeah. body, whichever one it was. And reassign them, and it will remake those vertex groups. So now I move up. Yes, if you hadn't already, move it now. Because now it's going to assign it to its new position, pretty much. Okay. Assign, assign the weights to where it thinks it is now, basically. And then I go back into object and do the select. What would be ideal, like the best case scenario, is if we don't have to do any weight painting. If we can just get it good enough from positioning our bones in the best places. Um, these rigs are pretty, are pretty good, so, it, yeah, um, that would be real nice. Weight painting sucks. There we go. Oh, that's... Mm. Going further forward, but it's yeah, a bit further you. forward. Right, do the same thing. Delete the... I can go back <laughs> for this one. Huh? Oh yeah, you can go back for this one. So it was up here, I think. How are you feeling with the blender controls? Are you getting it's starting to get the hang of them? Good stuff. Always get the other round. Right. That's a bit better. Yeah. And that'll be for the act for the front as well. Mm-hmm. Nice. Nice. Okay. That makes sense. Okay, so. Uh, make a save, I say. Make a save, I say. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> you can't name it. Yeah, you can't name it Dot Blender. Dirt. You don't have to keep the Dot Blender. You can get rid of that. It will put that again. But you can't rename the Dot Blend bit. Oh, I selected all by accident. I know what I did. Okay. Uh, oh, I call this one. <laughs> Just save. I know cool. what I mean. I think what we should do now is generate the rig and find out how it works. Okay. So, what we need to do first is we do need to delete the assigned vertex groups again.
So select the model and delete it from the modifier stack and delete it from the vertex groups as well because we will assign the rigged ver the, the generated rigged version to it instead. Okay. Uh, how do I do that again? Yep, I'm getting out the draw thing. Uh, first one is here. What is it? Delete all groups. My line is already on it. <laughs> <laughs> and then go to the modifier stack, which is the little spanner. And delete this as well. Alright, so now there's nothing on it. Perfect. Um, so now select your skeleton. And go over to the little armature button, which is there. You go down on this list, press generate rig. Generation has thrown an exception, all teeth not found. Um, Just because he doesn't have any teeth? Because <laughs> he doesn't have any teeth. It shouldn't care. It shouldn't care about that. With the human one, it doesn't care if you delete bones and then try and generate the rig. Um, right. Uh, can we, can you inspect the bones in the face? Maybe it thinks that there's a connection that is actually gone. Maybe I didn't delete one, but still yeah. there. And it thinks there's something left. No, it seems to have done it actually, but... No, 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 that's, that's still the, that's still the bones. Is it? Yeah. Well, it won't let me select it uh, anymore. Uh, you are in post mode, and now select, it won't let it? No. Nope. Okay, uh, requesting remote control. I gotta do some stuff. Okay, cool. <laughs> There's little blue scribbles all over my screen. <laughs> Same. <laughs> okay, so I've selected it in object mode. God, it's laggy. Sorry. Um, what's this one? That's a tongue. Don't want that. Yeah, I thought I might have missed a couple. That's okay. So if this doesn't end up working, if by deleting these bones it doesn't actually work, um, it won't actually want to let us do... What's this? Okay. If it, if it won't let us generate the rig, then unfortunately what we'll have to do, but we can do it much faster, is re-import the armature and just really quickly put all the bones back into place. But because you already have this set up, you just grab them, put them exactly where you see they need to be put. Unfortunately, <laughs> that that's the long way of how we might have to do this. Um, I hope it doesn't have to do that because normally it works like this. So I'm just going to make sure there's not a other stuff. What's lip? Lip should be fine. Okay. Um, I hope they're all okay. So go back to object mode. If this doesn't work, then I guess what to do? Advanced options. What's this? Come on. Why is this so slow? Rig name. Force widget update. Rig. Okay. Um. It's just my rural internet. Generation has thrown an exception. Org T T not found. Okay. Wait, key. Collection key not found. Um, um. Right. Um, yeah. We have to leave all of that stuff in, which is weird, because normally it doesn't make you do that. Uh, I apologize. Do you want to send me the file really quick with your version of the rig, and I'll just place them real quick? Yeah, sure. Seeing as this is only okay. a test one anyway. 
Uh, and you, you've already positioned them. I'm just repositioning them into the same, into the, the same places, pretty much. All right. Just, just for speed. Unless you think you can do it pretty fast mm. now that you have this. Probably not. <laughs> okay. Send me the dot blend file, but make sure you go to file. Oh wait, it's me still. Yeah, it's you still. Okay. External data automatically packed. No new files. Okay, we're fine. Um, yeah. So that's rigging, rigged that. testing is the one I need to send you. What do you want me to call this version of it? Just put Chris on the end, I guess. <laughs> okay. Um, so, yeah, send that to me on Zoom. I'm going to try and do it real quick. Uh, okay. Oh, that's retopping. What am I doing? Rigging. There you go. Right, and I'll share my screen with you, I guess, while I do this. Yeah. Okay. Um, screen share. Top lanes over Thunderbolt. Unfortunately, my laptop is not that quick. Oh, and my battery's gonna die pretty soon. Right. Um, I might have to move at some point. You need to have your meeting soon anyway, so we can just have a pause. <laughs> okay. But I'll, I'll at least start this and I'll show you what I'm gonna do. Okay. And maybe, maybe then you can just get on with it um, if, if, if that's faster. Right, so here's the scene. Um, this is the rig that you have edited into the right positions. What I'm doing is I'm going to create a new one, cap, and I'm going to just like literally place them into the same positions. Where is the origin for this? The origin for this one is right here. Do you want it to be above the ground? It was up there because of the the cat was up there, right? The beans. Yeah, but are the beans gonna like actually be this fill in this space here? They're not quite that thick, are they? They're not. Okay. Maybe they now, are. Then I will put uh, then I'll put the origin up here as well. It's probably fine. So. Snap. I like how that's the scientific term now. The beans. Beans. Let me select. Okay. Oh, maybe I shouldn't be deleting these either. Oh, the 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 claws. Maybe not. Maybe it will have a problem with that too. Ah. Uh. Right, I guess I'll test it without deleting anything, I'll just place them in the roughly right place. Oh no, my real cat wants to come in. Hello, Salem! Oh. Would you like me to open the door, Salem? Really? He's going to yell at me. Yes? Hello, Salem. Come on then. Why are you shouting at me? Good boy. Really? 
be honest, these these I think we forgot to place um in the middle of the leg. Like they're they're off to the side. I'm gonna play uh. in the middle. Like that. Around. Happy now. Okay, this is gonna need my duvet. Good. Uh -oh. Come back. Does my model say on? I'm not sure what I'm going to talk to Aiden about in my meeting with him because I haven't been able to get on with any practical work. Oh. Because I haven't got a computer that can run it, so... Yeah. Expecting it. And so far I haven't written anything for the ASP thing, I'm just writing for the major project. So, it might end up being like the shortest meeting of all time. <laughs> Whoa, wait, what is what the happened here? Why did this move? Wait. Yep, that works. Okay. Um one, two, three legs. Well, I mean the top part. Okay, my PC is running low. I'm gonna have to move now. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's raining! Oh no. Bloody hell. We've had a lot of days of sunshine. I guess we had to have a rain. I know. I was hoping, I was hoping it could just be summer already. <laughs> <laughs> what? We're just not allowed to go out in it? <laughs> <laughs> At least if it's wet, we don't want to go out. Yeah, but I always want to just be out in the garden at least. Yeah, that's true. Like, because I smoke, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh man, it's raining, I can't go outside and smoke. Yep. <laughs> hey, did you mind if I work in here? I'm having to do a voice call at some point. Right, thank you. Please don't throw on my laptop, so. Okay. All right. I'm back. Battery powered. Oh, now you want to leave, do you? Uh, That's really odd. This. Hmm? Oh. Look at this. The way the tail imported on my version is it's backwards. very different to the way it came in on yours. It's backwards. Yeah. I wonder what that means. What the heck? That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Its tailbones are backwards. Right, they are. Um, I 
hope that if I end up changing these, okay, I've got a plan. It's a bit longer, uh, unfortunately. I'm gonna have to delete these and redo them myself. But if it doesn't like that because of the rig, then um, then the way we'll have to do it. Yeah. Then the way we'll have to do it is that actually the 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 tailbone will be a separate. Oh Christ. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, it might be a separate armature. Oh God, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I hope hopefully this will just work. Um, I need to figure out which one. Which one's this? That's the correct one. Okay. Um, Hold on, Sado. Yeah, I know. Don't go out. Alright. Get going. Okay. Oh, why is my one backwards? That's so irritating. Is it your one backwards and not mine? I think it's definitely mine. Because mine's the one that's being super weird. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's, not, it's not something about my settings or something like that. No, I think it's mine. Um, basically, uh, do you, the job that I'm doing now, it might be that you actually have to do it on yours. Because otherwise... This this tail flip thing is gonna be that that might be a pain in the ass later. Like I don't know. You know what? I'll do a test and I'll try it. Okay. I don't know what this is called. Tail one. What is that? Tail two. Yeah. Um. Tail one through four. <laughs> So I'm going to do a test right now, just in case um, it doesn't work. It's so annoying if it didn't. a long loading time. Yep. Yeah. Have to wait again. Yeah, there's no tailbones left. Okay, right. Um, no, that's bad. <laughs> that means it didn't work. Um, okay, right. So, Emma? Yep. Can you hear me? Okay, right. The way we're going to have to do this is actually that you have to do it basically okay. because on your one it imported correctly and in my one it didn't so basically what I was doing was that I was 
I had both of these skeletons here. Let me not open it. Um, so this is the first one. This is your one. And you can tell because when you move it around, it moves the body around and they were attached. So that's fine. Yeah. The second one is this one, which is the one I was editing to be in the same position as this one. Basically, all you want to do is just have them both open and edit this one into the places where it needs to be. So a couple of things that are useful is that when you're grabbing and moving things around, if you want to like uh, make it more accurate, you hold shift and it lets you do it like this. Nice. So, oh, for graphic. Huh? Oh, for graphic. No, no, no. For orthographics, I pressed th three. What I'm doing uh, here I see. is that I'm grabbing this and I'm moving it around, but I want to move it around more delicately and I hold shift and it lets me move it around more delicately. See? Okay. Like I'm, I'm, I'm moving the mouse pretty far, but it's not moving very far. Yeah. And I'm just going around and placing them all in the right positions. Remember, the front legs actually should have been placed further apart. Like this goes like up there. Um, all that stuff. Don't delete any of the bones this time, and we should be good. Okay. Right. Sorry about that. That's all right. Um, We're both figuring it out. <laughs> Are these... What is this? Oh! When did that come here? <laughs> you have an extra head! What? I do have an extra head, that's bizarre. And that's the one you edited already. Um, that's really weird. What the heck? What, it's part... Oh, I think it was one from the very beginning that we must have just not deleted properly. Okay. Um... I'm not going to send you back this file because one has the incorrect rig input okay. with the tailbones. So yeah. It's, um, it's, it's you. You've got it. Um, I'm going to stop screen sharing now. Okay. Right. I've got my meeting with Aiden pretty soon. So yep. I might log off now, get something to eat, and then um, just check in with you later. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Cool. All right. See you later. Um, yeah. See you. Thank you very much. No problem. How do I end the call? I'm so bad at other Leave meeting. Bye bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs>